So today I want to show you where on Rockwell's website you would go to get and download the latest version of Connected Components Workbench. And I do have an article here which I'll be updating. You can see the website has changed drastically since this time. So let's go over to ab.com. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to support, but then we're going to go to the PCDC. Okay, so when we wanted to get RSLogix uh, earlier in the week, we went to drivers and firmware, but here we want to go to the PCDC. So we'll start there. And then here we're going to go downloads by product. And from there, we're going to go ahead and type in connected components. And here you can see connected components workbench, right? That's what we want to get. I also want to point out connected components building blocks and connected components accelerated toolkit. These are sample code for the MicroLogix and for the Micro 800 that you may want to grab totally free. Actually, I've, I've done a lot of work with these, the Connect Components building blocks, and we be putting that into my ultimate uh, MicroLogix course that's uh, coming up this summer. Um, there's some great stuff in there, right? So, um, and then the Accelerated Toolkit is very similar to that for the Micro 800. But what we're interested today in is the Connect Components Workbench. Um, you can choose any version you want here. Um, I don't know if they allow you to get the red versions, but I'm going to go ahead and just grab 21. And now I'm going to go to downloads. And then from here, this is the tricky part. You're going to find the little. Now, um, at this point, if you click on this little download link, you will have to log in. I'm already logged in, so I won't have to do that. But uh, you have to find this little itty bitty download link here. And then I'm already logged in. So it brings me to this page. And you can see there's a bunch of different stuff you can download here. You got the uh, the actual software itself, right? And then we have the English manual, some sample code, and remote access tool. Okay. So I downloaded these three this morning and testing it out, make sure everything was working. So now I'm just going to download the software, and uh, I'm going to download now. And you may see a prompt in the middle there to accept the license agreement. Here it is. Okay. So we'll accept and download, and it will automatically download a uh, a file that you want to open and run. If you try to open and run this file and it does not work, then what you want to do is you want to go back to this window. But let's open that file and show you what happens. I'm going to run it. And this brings up Rockwell's automated downloader. It's a pretty good tool. In years past, it was a little clunky, but they've really done a great job on it. And one of the things to point out here is you see this open link right here? This link is where you can see the folder. You can go right to the folder where it is. Now, before it's downloaded, you can change the folder if you have a different place for your downloads. And it will copy that over to the folder you change it to. But in any case, um, I just leave it in CRA. And then you can click open here and get access to your files, maybe to install them. Now, if something happens with this and it doesn't work, you can come back here and you can do a direct download, okay? And so this gives you a link to each file, part one and part two, where you can just download them directly like you would any link to any file on the internet. So with that, uh, that's the end of today's tech tip. I hope you found that helpful. In the next tech tip, I'm going to show you how to create a, a Micro 800 program, a simple program like we did in our earlier tech tip for the MicroLogix, and use the new simulator that came out. I think it's in version 12, the new simulator that came out with the um, CCW. So um, you can actually create and test programs like we did with the MicroLogix in the emulator earlier. And with that, that's the end of this tech tip. Have a safe, healthy, and happy day. And until next time, my friends, peace.